there are two words to describe today's recipe and they are healthy and hearty, which is exactly what we want come dinner time. Whitney Cummick joins me through the screen sharing her recipe for mango chicken taco bowls. Whitney, you've got me hungry already. This dinner checks a lot of healthy buzzword boxes. What diet does this dish cater to? So something great about this dish is that it is bursting with flavor, but we're also seeing nowadays that a lot of people are figuring out their bodies. They're figuring out what foods work and don't work for them. So despite it being gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, egg-free, nut-free, there's options for paleo or Whole30, it is still so flavorful. I think you just hit all of our palates and we're <laughs> excited and grateful that you did. Let's start with the marinade. What goes into it? Yeah, so it starts with extra virgin olive oil, and then we add in a lot of lime juice. We add in our favorite taco seasonings like cumin and chili powder, and then I have some fresh jalapeno right here. So you can see that I chopped it up really finely. You can just take your chef's knife and, you know, make it really fine and small. And then your chef's knife can double as a transportation device right into that cup. <laughs> it's Ooh. a vehicle at that point. <laughs> yes, Smart exactly. Smart kitchen skill. Yes, and then, of course, some fresh cilantro. Mm. I'm a lover. Just, I know there are some haters, but cilantro and everything makes it better, I say. I completely agree. So then you just want to stir it up with your fork, and your marinade is ready to go. Okay, and the marinade, did I read this correctly, doubles as a dressing, too? Yes, absolutely. So we're getting a two-for-one, which is awesome in the kitchen. And you're just going to take about three-fourths of this. Pour it over your chicken, get some of those chunks in there. And then you want to reserve this separately from the chicken because yes. you're not cross contaminating. Right. So you want to reserve this separately from the chicken. Let this sit for a few minutes to a few hours, and then this will go on later. Okay. And that checks off the chicken. No other preparation steps there? Yes, exactly. Okay. Let's slide into the fresh mango salsa. It's so bright and beautiful to look at it. You can feel it just popping in your mouth, too. Tell me how you did it. Exactly. So here we just diced up some fresh uh, mango and avocado, and then you just add in some diced red onion, lots of lime juice and cilantro and salt. That is it. You just mix it up and it is ready to go. You are hitting all of the best summer flavors, like the mangoes and the lime. We've got the cilantro. It just makes your mouth do a pucker. And I love that we're calling this a taco bowl because sometimes tacos just aren't deep mm -hmm. enough for all of that summer flavor goodness, right? We got to go deeper, bigger. Mm -hmm. Yes, a big bowl is what we want here. So what's the base of the taco bowl? The base of the taco bowl, so you start with your grain of choice. I like using quinoa, but there's also, you know, rice and cauliflower rice, depending on what you need. So I like adding lots of quinoa. And then I just grab a big tub of the organic mixed greens from the store, oh, yeah. throw some in there. And then you're going to grill your chicken after it's marinated for a little bit. So mm -hmm. once that chicken is grilled and it's rested for a few minutes, Chop it up, throw it in the bowl, and that's the base of it before you add your next toppings. Yeah, how else did you finish it off? Give us the topping list. Yeah, so the fresh mango salsa, you want to be generous because it is so flavorful. So you add a bunch of that in there, throw it all over the place, wherever it feels good. And then we add in our dressing. So we just made this dressing. We're going to spoon it out drizzle it all over because it is also so flavorful and fresh. <laughs> and then my favorite oh, ending. Let's, let's see it. Give it to us. It's looking good, huh? Amazing. Okay. And then we finish it off with some of our chips. I like using just salted plantain chips. Sprinkle it around. You can use tortilla chips. Um, and it is just a great textural change. Yeah, I was going to say, I was waiting for the crunch. All good salads have that finishing crunch, right, to top it off, that texture change that you reference. And the dressing, is it a keeper? Can, it, can you make it ahead and save in the fridge? Yeah, for sure. So if you mix this up, you can keep your chicken just covered in the fridge for several hours. And then the dressing, same thing. You can stick it in the fridge for several hours and the flavors will just continue to get better. Whitney, I am making this. Summer in a bowl is what it looks like and I can't wait to see what it tastes like too. Thanks for sharing this recipe. Where can we find more ideas from you? Yeah, so my website is witsfoodfit.com and you can find me on Instagram at witsfoodfit. Witsfoodfit, I'll meet you there, sister. Thank you so much.